Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm going to teach you how to make your own clipboard slash blackboard. They're really useful and you can decorate them however you want and all you need is a few simple things. A clipboard, some blackboard paint, a paintbrush, some Mod Podge, a ruler to measure stuff, and some chalk, and a, a map or some newspaper or whatever you want to decorate with. So you're going to start off by taping off the area that you want to make your blackboard on. Uh, you can either measure and mark that with chalk, or you can do what I ended up doing and just use the width of the tape. You need to make sure to tape all the way around so that your chalkboard has nice clean lines, and it's best to do this entire thing on like a table or something, but as you can see, I live on the edge and I'm doing it on carpet. First you need to put a thin layer of the blackboard paint uh, over the area that you've taped off. Uh, just follow the directions on the blackboard paint. Um, with mine, it said to apply a coat, wait an hour, and then add more, with two being the recommended amount. Uh, but I only waited half an hour between coats and put three coats on. This is what it looks like after three coats, and I'm taking the tape off. And as you can see, other than that little smudge in the corner, it turned out pretty well. Once you've taken the tape off, you need to let it cure for 24 hours and then condition it with a piece of chalk. So you just rub chalk all over the surface and then wipe it off. I'm not really sure why, but it said to do it on the instructions, so I did it. Once I wipe the chalk off, you can kind of see a difference between this one, which has been conditioned with the chalk, and another one that I'm working on uh, that I'm going to place next to it momentarily. And there we go. Next you want to cut out uh, whatever paper thing you want to cover your clipboard with. I chose a map of the greater Los Angeles area and uh, just cut it to fit the shape of your clipboard like I did here. I chose to cut holes out but you don't have to. Next put a thin layer of Mod Podge all over the back so that you can uh, adhere your paper to the back of the clipboard. When you place your paper on, it's important to try to get as few air bubbles as possible underneath because uh, it'll dry and it'll not be even and you really don't want that. So try to smooth it out from the center outwards and then cut off the excess off the edges. Once you do that, uh, cover the back with another layer of Mod Podge just to seal it and then you've got one of these. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of shiny-ish. Um, and I put a ribbon around the edge which you don't have to do, but I think it makes it look nicer and more finished. I made another one for my dad for Father's Day, uh, and it's really cute. I just made it out of a few pages of the LA Times, and it was super easy to do. Like, once the chalkboard part was done, I just cut out strips of newspaper and laid them on with Mod Podge, and then covered them with another layer of Mod Podge, and I think it's really cute. So I hope if you try this, you have good luck with it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you tried it, if you have any changes or additions or what have you. Uh, but I thought this was a really fun project and I wanted to share it with you. I make a lot of crafty stuff, but I don't usually do how-tos, so this was my first one. I hope you like it. If you did, give me a thumbs up or subscribe, check out my channel. And uh, as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!